Conservative New Media viewers, this is John D. Blurell. I've got a military technology, advanced technology video here for you. What you're seeing is the F-35, and this is a fifth generation advanced stealth multi-role fighter that's being developed. And as you can see right here, it's doing some high angle of attack testing. This is this is a very recent video. It's extremely dangerous in my personal opinion. What this does is, is and what you saw there in the beginning was a, uh, a stall recovery chute placed on the airplane because what can happen is when you hit these extreme angles of attack, the airplane uh, can stall my personal opinion, this is dangerous. What you're seeing here is incredible, incredible performance, in my personal opinion, of this airplane. First of all, my personal opinion, only knowledge, in fact, not casting any aspersion for entertainment purposes. Only please check the disclaimers. I believe in this test environment, the airplane was able to get to a 50 degree angle of attack or around there, which is just absolutely incredible. And I believe that is uh, the airplane's limit. And you can see here, this thing is just able to do all kinds of stuff. Now, when you hit those kind of higher angles of attack, it slows the airplane down, but also uh, because of the drag and everything, but also allows you to, to uh, be much more maneuverable. In my opinion, it's absolutely amazing seeing that level of maneuverability and capability from an airplane. Wow, in my personal opinion, that was extremely impressive. I mean, it's incredible seeing that airplane go through that kind of maneuver. The F-35 Lightning II, seeing those kind of maneuvers, that kind of high risk, high angle of attack maneuver, and seeing the plane perform that well, in my personal opinion, is absolutely awesome. This is a multi-role fighter, which means that different uh, branches of the military are going to be uh, using this plane. So there's going to be different variants out there. There will be the, the CTOL variant, the conventional takeoff and landing variant. I believe the Air Force is going to take a look at that. There will also be the Stovall variant, which is the short takeoff and vertical landing variant. And I believe the Marines will take a look at that. That's one where it can just take off, you know, straight up and do different things. And, you know, it's just, I've seen some video of the F-35 do that. That was absolutely incredible where the engine basically can be directional with the, with, uh, the nozzle there in the back. Um, and there also will be a carrier variant for the Navy and that will have you know, uh, bigger wings, foldable wings and also have uh, I believe strengthened uh, landing gear to handle the catapult. Uh, off the carrier decks. So very, very interesting, very, very, very cool technology here in my personal opinion. And I believe the, um, so there's, with the different variants, there's going to be different capabilities and, and different specifications. But I believe in terms of, in general, I think that the um, uh, top speed of this uh, plane, of the F-35, is around Mach 1.6. I might be wrong about that, but I'm going to put some information in the video description below. What do you think about that? Were you as impressed as I was? I'm fired up about this. You tell me where you're at. I have, uh, you know that I love the, the technology, the science stuff, all that type of stuff. I actually have other videos that I did about the F-35, but I want your comments. You weigh in now. What do you think about it? Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super genius. You're watching conservative new media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it on your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.